I want to bring in Mitch Rochelle, the founding partner at Macro Trends Advisors. Hi, Mitch. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Greta. The governors in several states are now tightening restrictions as COVID cases rise. These decisions come, though, ahead of the key holiday shopping season, which is, of course, a major part of fourth quarter GDP. How do you expect these new lockdowns to impact the economic recovery? You know, when you look at small businesses and you empathize with uh, small retail shops, uh, restaurants, which are, for, for the most part, a retail business themselves, and you realize that they were just squeaking by when we had relaxed restrictions and people were able to come back into the store, uh, eat inside or outside the restaurant, then you layer on top of that colder weather across the country. You're in sunny San, San Diego. I'm in a frigid uh, New York. Um, and you realize it's very difficult to uh, eat outside. So I, I think the fourth quarter GDP is going to be severely impacted if it turns out that we start putting more restrictions on businesses' ability to you know, be some semblance of normal. Uh, and that is the big fear for the economy. And I think you start to see this in day in, day out in the stock market. That's why today you had the rotation to tech stocks because of the fear that we're going to see traditional businesses uh, be in trouble again. One sector of the economy that's been absolutely booming during this pandemic is the housing market. New data today showing existing home sales surging more than 26 percent annually in October. That's the fastest annual sales rate since 2006. Buyers, though, are facing some rapidly increasing prices amid low inventory. How long do you expect this trend to continue in the market? Yeah, and if you parse through all the housing data, and there was a lot of it this week, so we saw home builder confidence was strong on Tuesday. We saw housing starts hitting a, a, a recent record high on Wednesday, and today on Thursday we saw existing home sales uh, really strong. The problem is, and you nailed it uh, in the question, Greta, we're running out of inventory. There's less than three months supply of existing homes on the market, and even though we're uh, building about a p annual pace of about one and a half million homes, uh, we're, we're selling uh, everything that hits the market. So I think we're going to see more rising prices and the demand for homes is very, very strong, which is the bright spot in the economy right now. I mentioned that sales pace is the fastest since 2006. You might see that number and worry that we may be in another bubble like what led to the financial crisis at the end of 08. What's different, though, this time around in the housing market? Yeah, I think the the bubble in 08 was really a financing story. When when you have people who buy homes that have very, very little equity in the home, and that's creating a lot of volume in the market and creating a lot of transactions and prices go up as a result, uh, that's what leads to a bubble. But right now there's underlying fundamentals. There is more demand for housing than there is supply, and people are putting money down. Underwriting standards today are considerably stricter than they were 10 years ago, and people have equity in homes. So I'm not too fearful that we're going to see a housing bubble. Um, uh, I may, you know, eat those words one day on this on your air, but uh, I don't really see the fundamentals being uh, today like they were uh, uh, 10 years ago. Uh, during the pandemic, homeowners who may not be able to pay their mortgage have been able to enter forbearance, many for a longer time than typically permitted. Do you possibly t expect to see an increase of foreclosures in the future as Americans struggle to emerge from those forbearance programs? Yeah, and I think you may see uh, a new administration extend some of those. I mean, you know, we really, since the CARES Act, we really haven't done anything in terms of forbearance on uh, homeowners or even on businesses. So I think there's some work that needs to be done there. Clearly, there's going to be some pain on the financial system if there are people that are out of their homes. Um, and uh, you're also seeing a little bit of pain in the rental market where there are some landlords that aren't getting rent checks. So it's not just uh, the mortgage um holders. It's also landlords that are seeing tenants that are unable to pay rent. So there is an element of the housing economy that is not a bright story. Uh, but I don't think the, the wound is, is that deep. Um, but I think it's something that's it's pain that's going to be felt throughout the financial system uh, in 2021 and beyond for sure. All right. Mitch Rochelle, founding partner at Macro Trends Advisors, joining us to discuss the latest on the economy amid the pandemic. Thanks so much for coming on the show today. You bet. Want to see more videos like this? Visit OANN.com for immediate access to all the clips you've been waiting to see.